Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. Welcome to Monaco. Wow, my friends, I have left you hanging for the day. I have been back in Nice since yesterday around 4 p.m. But to be honest, Monaco and Es Village wiped me clean. I am tired. I went to sleep at like 9.30, completely passed out, and then didn't wake up till 7 a.m. To be honest, today I've just been having a day. did not finish catching you up to date because my friend called me which is so nice so traveling leaves you quite lonely sometimes and to be honest staying in an airbnb you take the risk but it's really not risky to not meet people so to talk with a friend back home and just in my language and just be able to chat away was really heartwarming and it gives me that kind of boost i need we decided to treat myself for dinner so we went out to call the not no hot dog it's called it's a vegan hot dog place which i found on the happy cow app which i will link below it was 850 euros we just walked around in the park we've come back to my airbnb we've also bought this is like my thing we bought another fanta you know some people they do the cigarette thing some people like wine every night this seems to be my thing which does not surprise me since i love sugar so cheers good night Bonsoir. I left you last night as I was getting ready for bed. We have spent the day um, at Share Coworking, which was a, a co-op kind of co-working space where some people have permanent desks. It costed me 24 with tax euros for a half day working there, which was pretty expensive. I did get some of what I needed to get done, but honestly my Airbnb just hasn't had the strongest Wi-Fi, which has made working really frustrating. I'm going to go out for dinner to Chez People, which they make crepes with chickpea flour, which I think is quite ironic because it's quite the trend in Vancouver right now to make these kind of crepes with chickpea flour in the vegan scene, but it seems like this has been around for quite a while, especially at this family restaurant from the 1920s. I think you'd hear the other day about this is Place Garibaldi. For whatever reason, Vancouver also has a mountain called Garibaldi, and I believe it's a person. It's just a plaza though. On our way to dinner to Chez Pipo. I was pronouncing it wrong, I was pronouncing the Z Chez Pipo. <laughs> this is the neighborhood that I haven't walked in. We're closer to the port and one of the main marinas, and you can see up above there's a bunch of houses. Let me scroll a bunch of houses up on that mountainside. All right, the first one is soca with green onions. I was told to put salt and pepper on them and I love salt. All right, now we've got salt and pepper on them. They taste just sort of like a latka. Not a ton of flavor. A little oniony. All right, we just got served simple soca, which the server said is better with pepper. Verdict, I like the one with green onion better. It just tastes like a omelette, but not eggy, but crispy and salty. 
A little bit like chickpea, but not as much as you would think. It doesn't taste like aquaganda. No, aquafaba. Yum. Chin chin. That was a yummy meal. I do recommend going there. I think if you go with another person, it's always better because you get to try more. But I had the simple soca and the soca with uh, green onion. There it is. Anyway, but it was enough food for me with a little salad. Probably could have done without it because I don't know why we pay three euros for like arugula anywhere in the world. <laughs> but I got into the tourist trap. Um, I had a nice glass of rosé and we're just gonna walk down towards the port just because we're near here and then we'll start walking home. But I'm proud of myself for going out for dinner and really good at making friends with older people. There was a gentleman next to me with a beautiful fedora hat that had a Canadian pin on it, the same one I have on my backpack. So I had to ask him, hello, you have a maple leaf on you. Are you from Canada? And turns out he was just there in the 80s to get his master's and his PhD from McGill. So I don't know why he wears it now 40 years later, but anyway, we had a nice conversation and there was an Italian woman next to me earlier, got to meet her dog, Daisy. So I have found the people of Nice to be extremely friendly, very welcoming to be English speaking. And I'm really just enjoying this town and would come back. Here we definitely have the influence of Monaco. There's a full cruise ship here. This is the port of Nice. I'd like to welcome you to my next place I'm staying for a week. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> this boat is freaking huge! <laughs> Look at that. It is not a cruise ship, it's probably a personal yacht, but there's definitely like four layers to it and it's just a lot of extra. Just sitting right there. It's called the M. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> the question is, who owns it? Do they need friends or companions? <laughs> just kidding, I don't want to be that, but I will bake for you. I would beg to live on that boat. Like big cookies, I mean. This is the whole other side of Nice that I have not yet explored. Basically the other side of the port. We can see the giant cruise ship here and on the other side of the port is another area because up here was a castle that I explored a few days ago. So, it's quite big. There's lots to see. This whole street seemed to have tons of restaurants, but it seems that makes sense coming off the cruise ships. But, you know, I quite like it here. And I'm enjoying my time so much here. Let me backtrack. I enjoyed my time in Madrid, Valencia, Barcelona, everywhere else, but there's just, I feel safer here. The pace of life is a bit slower yet there seems to be hustle and bustle you see the water you see mini mountains hills <laughs> it's just wow wait okay hang on a cruise ship departing and the beautiful rocks in the background.
having one of those movie moments with that sunset in the background. Someone asked me on my Q&A box today, which I do every Friday, what's one thing that's been so tedious about traveling? And it's just like figuring out the next place, combining content creation with living in the moment. And sometimes I just put the camera down and I just go, where the heck am I? And this is definitely one of those moments with the planes that land right here in that sunset. Ending our magical evening with a scoop of coconut gelato. I always get coconut wherever I go. Basically trying to find the best coconut gelato in the world. This one tastes a little bit more fake than last night's, but nonetheless still good. We're gonna end the vlog this evening here. Not sure what's up, what I'm doing this weekend, but you'll find out soon. Good night. Good morning, friends. I am sending some things home to Canada that I packed that I have never used. Let's go through them. So I've been on the road now for over a month and I only packed carry-on, but there's definitely some items that I've never even touched. And I've decided to ship them all. I purchased this box from the French post office for two euros. Some items I'm sending home is first of all, a really pretty postcard from Nice, just for my parents when they get this. I found <laughs> finders keepers kind of situation, uh, a better converter that was left in the hostel bed that I stayed in in Gentilly, France, just outside of Paris. So I'm gonna send this bigger one home because my other one's smaller. I bought a European MacBook charger since being here because this one is too heavy in the converters that I have. And to go with that, I never use this extension cord and it comes with you, comes with it when you buy MacBook chargers. I'm really debating. I brought two bathing suits with me. I haven't even used one because it hasn't been quite warm enough. I'm headed to Malta next, wondering if I'm gonna regret sending a bathing suit home. Then I also figured if I really needed a second one I could buy a second one again or borrow my sister's when I'm in Malta with her so I think I'm gonna ship this one home and I'm keeping my two-piece with me I've never used this headlamp just an extra pouch the instructions to my charger a makeup brush a keychain I've used once this is like one of those toothpaste squeezers I've just never used this is the best ladies take a screenshot this is the best makeup remover I've ever used and it's 125 milliliters of this container and I've already refilled my um, travel bottle so the rest of this is going home because it ain't cheap. This is something I thought I would use more is my money fanny pack. It's um, great because it can fit under clothes but I've just been using my purse and this has just sat in my suitcase for a month. So we're gonna try and pack it all up. The last thing is I'm gonna get rid of a pair of pants. These pants are fantastic. They're the on the fly loop lemon pants. I'm finding them not to fit anymore because I got a little toned from all the walking. They definitely are dirty when I'm shipping them back. So sorry when you open this box, it's probably gonna be stinky. I don't need it anymore and I could use the space in my suitcase again. Behind me is the crowd just to enter the gates, to enter the plaza to watch what I think is the Nice's team finale. Friends, I have not been on the camera in the last two days, but to give you a quick update of the game last night as everyone gathered in the plaza to watch, Nice did lose, one nothing. I checked the score in the morning. Um, it was a French final cup, it seemed. But today I have spent the entire day on my laptop, basically planning the next month of my life. And I have learned my lesson that I chose Nice as a place to relax between going to Malta, which is my next location, but because I chose one day to travel, I had a book flight from a location already and tomorrow I'm gonna have to take three flights. So I spent the whole morning researching, went out for lunch just to grab a quick bite to eat and more soca. I went to Chez René Soca, which was better bang for your buck. 
the quality wasn't as good as the shade people. But we're gonna end our niece vlog here. I've really enjoyed my time in this city. It is not the most fancy or unique, but I have felt overall the most safe here. And my only tip for anybody is <laughs> watch where you're walking because there's a lot of dog on the sidewalks. That's my only tip. Otherwise, just enjoy the beautiful Parisian slash Mediterranean views. The people are kind, they speak English, the port's beautiful. I'm sure there's some good boating here as well. But we're gonna end our vlog here. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Good morning, friends. Sardinia to Naples, Naples to Malta. Three flights in one day. We're like 12 hours. It's the only way I can get down to Malta to meet my sister. And look who I found. Flight number three and we will be there. Today we have spent the day, insert B-roll here. I also lost a contact lens. While simultaneously figuring out where the heck I'm gonna go next. I'm in these friends with the messiest hair.